everybody, hope you're having a superb day. For today's message, I'm going to be channeling the energies of the Divine and Masculine Twin Flame. And we can begin the reading straight away with the first card. I miss the feel of you next to me. My beloved Divine Feminine. Nobody else could ever take your place. I never truly could be with another. If you're seeing me with someone else, we never have been and never will be really together. It's not possible. You can only be happy with your twin flame. Only you can satisfy me in the ways that I need to be satisfied. Only... You can touch me the way that I need to be touched. Your words linger in my mind. Yeah, I, I keep it secret, but I hang on to your every word. I remember what you said last thing at night before I go to sleep. And I remember your words when I wake up in the morning. They're what keeps me going. There. I want to hear, I want to hear more. I want to hear you say those things to me every day. And my biggest regret is making promises I didn't keep. I really let us both down. Well, the timing wasn't right before. I didn't want to make promises to you if I couldn't keep them. I wanted to be straight with you. But I feel like I've let you down. I feel like I've let myself down. I have practical matters and finances to deal with before we can be together. And we both have, to have stuff to do in our life purpose journeys. But our life purpose journey and our twin flame journey are one and the same. So even if it seems completely unrelated to our relationship, if there's stuff that needs doing, everyday stuff, apparently mundane stuff, if you, uh, you've got to do what you're called to do at this moment. You've got to work through what's in front of you. Because every little financial block that's cleared opens the channels to manifesting financial miracles. And it all brings, it always brings us one step closer together. Tease me in public. Yeah, I want to have a proper relationship with you. I want to be seen with you. I'm going to want to sing your praises. I want to show you off. Please don't turn me on as I can't resist you. I am in a relationship and trying to behave. Well, it, seem, it may seem like I was abandoning you, but that's not the truth. The truth is, is that I'm getting clear on my values because we share the same core values, the same core values of faithfulness and devotion. We share the same values, we make the same choices. All you have to do is choose your harmonious union with your one true love. And I will not have no choice but to follow suit. I wish I'd told you how much you really meant to me. And that's why your words linger in my mind. You're my everything. You're my eternal divine compliment. You're the one great love of my eternal life. I feel unable to be able to tell you this because I've had my own fair share of disappointments and unhappy relationships. And whenever I try and get close to someone, 
they'd go away. So how much more would be would I be afraid of getting close to you when you're the only one I've ever loved and the only one I ever will love? Because with one look, you made me believe in love. How is that even possible? It seemed unreal. It seemed too good to be true. I didn't know what was happening to me. It was a case of, what the hell is this? I'm coming into realising exactly what our connection is. I'm recognising our connection. I'm recognising you as my twin flame. That's an important piece to remember. And I'm so sorry I haven't apologised properly, but I promise you it's coming. I'm moving into a much better headspace. I'm moving into a place where I will be able to communicate clearly and freely with you. You are my angel, but I really love your devilish attitude in the bedroom. Yeah, only you can bring those two polarities, these two ends of the spectrum together so beautifully. Nobody else can do that. Turn me on in the back row of the movies. So if our relationship has been or is a secret at the moment, I really would like to bring it into the open, bring it into the public domain, make it official. Just I feel so unworthy of being seen with someone like yourself. But as I just said, I'm in a much better headspace now. I'm feeling a lot better about myself. I went through a bit of a dark night of the soul and it was harsh. Yeah, please understand why I didn't want to go through it, but it had to be faced. But I'm mirroring your choices. You've made the choice to heal and move forward on this journey and so I have too. You want me, if you may see me looking happy without you, but the truth is you don't want me to be in a state of unhappiness. I won't come in a state of unhappiness. I need to be feeling whole and complete within myself or else I won't feel enough for you. You know, that's not how it works. The way it works is as you do the spiritual work, as you do the healing work, there just come a point where I realised that it was you that I'd loved always. You that I'd always loved. It's just the revealing process and that reveal can be instant. It doesn't matter if you're not hearing from me right now, there are many people that didn't hear a jot from their twin flame but then all of a sudden, sudden boom, harmonious union, it can be that instantaneous so keep the faith and take heart I am still trying to find myself yeah there is still a little bit of work to do but we're doing it because you're doing it and that's how you know that I'm doing it and it's all okay in finding myself and recognizing all these parts of myself and recognizing the divine the divine in myself and the divine in others that's how I see myself clearly and that's how I see you clearly I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer there are too many coincidences deja vu synchronicities there's no such thing as coincidence the universe is manifesting a running between us. It's manifesting a meeting of some kind, a connection of some kind. With every cycle of healing of the blocks that you're doing, I come a little bit closer. Can you feel how close I am now? 
You don't know who you're going to bump into. Because I absolutely fucking love you. I felt unable to express that because this love truly strips me of everything that I thought I was. But that's a good thing. Because what's left is so much better. It's, I really want to see the man, to be the man that you desire. Can't you see that I've always been the man that you desire? I want to make love in the ocean and drown in the infinite emotions and the infinite love that we have for each other. I will prove my love for you with my actions. I will show you that I am sincere. And all that will come at exactly the right moment. When we're both ready, we'll both be ready at the same time. Not a second sooner and not a second after. But that's okay. It's coming with breakneck speed. So enjoy the journey in the meantime. Enjoy the thrill of the hunt. You will have your prize. And that's me and you will have me. Thank you. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that there for this reason, reading. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And I am very much looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.